Okay, as you can see, uh, this question, based on the figure beside, uh, write each vector in figures uh, in terms of the unit vector i and j. Uh, you use unit vectors to express the vector c, where c equal to 3a minus 4b. Okay, find the magnitude and direction of c. Good. Now, uh, how to do this question? First of all, uh, we do part A. Yeah? Let's look at the part A. Okay, so you can see here, um, we need to resolve this vector yeah, into uh, the x and y component. Yeah? And then write in terms of unit vector i and j. Okay? So here you can see uh, this vector A okay, uh, can resolve into two components. Okay, um, so how? Uh, this is the two vector. Okay, this, uh, maybe I should use uh, proper shape. All right, uh, this is the x component. Okay, uh, the x component. Uh, never mind, yeah, very troublesome. So, this is the x component and this is the y component. Okay, the x component is adjacent to the angle. So, uh, remember we use cos theta. And then for this y component, it is opposite to the angle uh, or no angle. Uh, we use sine theta. Okay. Uh, so, okay. Let us uh, write out the vector A. So, the vector A is equal to, okay, uh, the x component is using cos theta. So, vector A uh, is uh, 3.6 meter magnitude. So, we can say, uh, okay, another thing, oh, student always forget, it is to add the uh, direction, positive and negative sign. So, remember, first you must put positive and negative sign, uh, positive and negative sign. Uh, positive and negative, positive and negative. So, remember, you must include. So, so, for the x component, this one is going to the right, so it's positive. So, it's positive. And then, uh, we have, um, uh, this is 3.6 meter. 3.6 uh, cos, cos 70. 3.6 cos 70. Uh, this is for i, yeah, for the x component. And then for the y component, uh, using sine 70. Uh, and it is, um, you know, positive. So uh, just write uh, positive, positive um, uh, 3.6 also, 3.6 uh, sine 70. 3.6 sine 70, yeah, that should be J. Uh, this is for the Y component. Uh, and then this is uh, actually a displacement vector. So meter, don't forget to put unit. Even in unit vector form, you must put unit, yeah, the meter. Okay, and then for B, okay, let's do the B. Okay, B also has two components. So we write out the component first it also has the x component and the y component for the x component it is adjacent to the angle so also use cos cosine theta for the y component it is uh, opposite to the angle so we use sine theta and be careful uh, this x component is negative uh, this y is negative uh, because it's going to the left and going downward okay these are the things you should pay attention Okay, so now let's uh, do, let's uh, uh, write the B in unit vector form. So B, uh, the X component is negative. Okay, negative. Uh, okay, so it, the B is 2.4 meter. So 2.4, 2.4 uh, cosine, 2.4 cosine 30 degree. Okay, 2.4 cosine 30, I. And then for the y component, it is also negative, negative um, 2.4, 2.4 sine uh, 30. Ah, okay. The x component is cos, yeah, cosine. The y component is sine. Ah. Okay, so this is for the y component. Y component is using j. Okay, the x component use i, y component use j. And this is also a displacement, so we put as meter. Okay, so we already have uh, uh, the vector in unit vector form, okay, i and j. So, secondly is um, 
uh, all right better we simplify them yeah simplify them let's calculate okay so i got uh, the the i this one is uh, 1.231 uh, 1 i and then uh, this one is um, okay so for the this one is um, 3.383 3. j okay uh, that's for a so for b okay let's calculate okay it is um, negative uh, 2.078 2.078 uh, i and then for y component okay so for y component it is a negative uh, 1.2 j okay uh, that's it yeah so uh, we already got in uh, the vector a and b in i and j form so now let's uh, do the part c okay uh, actually this is the answer already yeah we got the answer Okay, for question A. Now, uh, question B. Question B, we need to find vector C. Okay, vector C, uh, okay, it already gives us an equation. So, very easy. We just substitute the uh, value we get here into the equation. And then we can find vector C. This is just simple mathematics. Simple mathematics. So, vector C, have you learned the chapter vector in your mathematics? vector in your chapter mathematics uh, apply apply what you have learned uh, we can uh, we cannot strip all the knowledge as uh, separate knowledge yeah they are all integrated linked to each other we need to know how to apply our knowledge uh, then that that knowledge is a useful knowledge we don't learn how to apply our knowledge there's no use we learn all this okay so uh okay so this is a uh, 3a okay so you just uh, three times you know the vector a just put inside substitute into it okay uh, 1.231 i and then plus uh, 3.383 j uh, okay and then uh, minus for uh, this negative 2.078 i uh negative 1.2 j ah, okay so yeah um that's it yeah negative 4 okay i uh, just see inside then you just uh, expand expand and then uh you know expand first okay expand first so this one you get a uh, 3.693 i and then plus okay and then multiply Three times, uh, uh, sorry, three times three point uh, three eight three. Okay, so what I get? I get ten point uh, one four nine j. Okay, uh, and then um neg okay, and then this one uh, negative with negative become positive. Positive. Okay, I need to multiply four with uh, two point zero seven eight. So that is uh, eight point. 8.312 and then uh, finally uh, 4 times uh, negative 4 times negative 1.2 that is 4.8 yeah okay so that is become a positive uh, 4.8 okay ah so next is we do you know vector uh, i with i can be added up j with j can be added up uh, just like the same dimension can be added up yeah not the same dimension cannot be added up okay so lastly is a uh, 3.693 plus um 8.312 okay you got um uh no 12.005 i and then you have 10.149 plus 4.8 uh, you get this one is uh, plus uh, 14.949 j yeah that's the vector c easily done just normal mathematics okay uh, okay that's vector c 
Uh, then, want to find the magnitude and direction of vector C? Very simple, just Pythagoras theorem, you know, uh, just Pythagoras theorem. You know, what, what you get from here, the vector C, uh, this, this one is uh, value positive, this one also positive, that means uh, this, this vector is going to the right and going upward. Uh, so, we combine these two. Let's combine these two. So, we have, um, you know, this, these two... Uh, this is a uh, positive 12.005 and this is a uh, positive 14.949 okay Pythagoras theorem what do we get um, Pythagoras theorem uh, th that is the vector C uh, and then we need to find the angle theta you know so to find the magnitude of vector C is we just take this uh, this one uh, Cx uh, this this uh, for the x component we square the y component also we square and then square root uh, okay so 12.005 square okay um sorry this one we square and then plus the 14.949 we also square uh, so then we square root okay we square root so what do we get Okay, uh, this one square plus 12.005 square and then we square root again. So this one you get 19.173, 19.173 uh, meter, uh, meter. And then that's the magnitude. And then finally, we want to find the direction. You just tangent theta, uh, tangent theta, you take the we take the y, always take the y, you know, the cy, the cy divided by cx. Always take the y component divided by x component. Okay, so which is uh, 14, sorry, um, 14.949 over uh, 12.005. Okay, uh, then uh, anti tangent, anti tangent our answer. So what do we get for your this one? So 14.949 divided by 12.005. Uh, then we anti tangent answer. Okay, what do we get? Ah, we get 51.23 degree. Okay, it is. This one is above the positive x axis. Ah, yeah. This angle is above the positive x axis. You must write there. You cannot just leave the direction with only angle. You must write above uh, positive x axis. Ah, then only complete. The direction will be complete. Okay, so let's check the answer. Is the answer correct? Okay, so first start with our question A. Our question A is, um, you know, uh, question A is uh, 1.23i, 3.38j. Yes, correct. For B is a negative 2.08i and negative 1.2j. That's correct. And then lastly, uh, our uh, question C, uh, no, a vector C. Vector C is a uh, 12.01i, 12.005i, almost correct. And then 14.94j, 14.94j. Yeah, correct also. Yeah. And then the last question, part C. Uh, part C, the magnitude is 19.17 meter. 19.17, 19.17 meter. That's correct. And then uh, our direction is 51.2 degree. 51.2 degree. 51.2 degree. That's correct. Uh, and then you must write above the positive x axis. So you see, very easy. Just normal vector vector method. Normal mathematics method. Okay. Master your vector. Master your resolve vector and also resultant vector magnitude and direction okay uh, that's it okay see you in the next video